this before on the sports right, shop. Right, right. And uh, all along, I always had this, I don't know, infatuation or curiosity. I don't know about synchronized swimming. And now they changed, they changed it up on me. It's, it's artistic swimming, which I didn't know that. But now I know. And we had to reach out to someone locally, some people locally, to, to kind of get us up to speed on what that is. And we're so happy when Ellie of uh, Triangle Aqua Linus, uh, uh, artistic club, I guess, uh, and you you can get the appropriate name when when when, I, when, I, when you come on. She, I reached out to her. She re- uh, hit us back, and now they're right here in the yes. studio. So welcome Ellie and, and, and Gabrielle right here, man. What's going on? Hey, thank you so much for having us. It's thank an you. honor to be Gabriel, here. Gabriel, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Uh huh. Thanks for having us. Yeah. How you doing? Good. And you got the We're name doing right. Well. They got the, they got the right. Got Triangle the Aquilinas. Right. Yeah. That's us. Triangle Aquilinas. Triangle Aquilinas. Aquilina. So, yeah. so what is that? Talk to us about that. What is that? So we are a master's artistic swimming club. So we have members from age 18 up mm-hmm. um, and we participate in competitions. So we travel this year. We're going to Florida in October for the master's nationals. Um, oh, oh, really? Okay. Yep. It's coming up. Wow, and we yeah. take people of all levels too. So we have beginners and experienced. So how hard is it? Like, here's here's this is my general question. Mm-hmm. You have to hold your breath for a long time in in, in sport, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, and, and I'm always infatuated how they're doing stuff above the water with their legs, whatever. And they got the, they got to really maintain that that level of uh, I guess the cardiovascular stuff got to be on point <laughs> with that because uh, being able to do that sport, talk about that if you yeah, will. Yeah, that's actually a pretty common misconception is that the sport is easy when it's actually pretty difficult and we have to make it look easy, mm-hmm. but um, it actually takes incredible amounts of strength and flexibility and cardiovascular mm-hmm. fitness, so it, it makes you a really well-rounded athlete, which I appreciate. Yeah. And, and Gabriel, I, I didn't realize that men were doing it. Because I, I, yeah. I, typically when I see it, <laughs> I, I just see uh, you know, females doing it. Yeah. Talk about that if you will. Yes, sir. Um, I had a swimming background. I mm-hmm. teach swim lessons on the side, and I played water polo through college. Okay. Um, so I just met the team naturally by swimming in the same pool and uh, <clears throat> gave it a shot. It's it's got this artistic kind of element to it mm-hmm. that, um, you know, I'm, I tend to lean towards artistic hobbies, drawing, music, dance. It's it's essentially like a free form of ballet or dance combined with swimming. Mm. Um, and wow. to touch on the difficulty aspect mm-hmm. from coming from a swimming background, for me, the most difficult <clears throat> part is the support skull, which is the underwater treading that you do. Sorry, yeah. am I getting there? Lean in a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh-huh. th- yeah there's, a, there's a few things that you that are make this sport particularly difficult, mm-hmm. and one of those is the upside-down treading that you have to do oh, to keep your legs uh, <laughs> above the surface. See, that's, that's the thing <laughs> that, that would be my problem. Yeah. <laughs> How, is, is that, that's difficult? It's, it, for me, it's, it's probably the most difficult. I mean, you have to memorize counts. Um, so we have an eight count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we repeat that, and that's how we remember cues to move throughout a song and a routine. Um, and so there's that. There's the you know there's the pointed toe kind of the flexibility aspect that mm-hmm. most of the girls have over me because yes. they've been because they they've trained their the tendons and ligaments. Mm, and their interesting. Toes to wow. interesting. 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 Um, so that's kind of the ballet portion of it. Yes. Uh, but. Um, if you enjoy swimming and you're a, and, and you enjoy being in the water, you can you can tread you know uh, for long up to two three hours. Um, you can you can pick up a lot of the other. Oh, wow! Wow! Yeah. This is so interesting. I, I know, I, I know, I know. We are crazy. talking to Elliot Gabriel with uh, Gabriel with the Triangle uh-huh. Aqualinas. So it actually it sounds so much like dancing, <laughs> dancing yeah. in the water with a whole bunch of it is very other similar skills. To dance, <laughs> you're not allowed to breathe, so it's a little, <laughs> not, harder. <laughs> a little, little harder. Not allowed to breathe. So if someone you know called you up, 18 and older, looking to do this, like what? What are the top three skill sets that you have to have mm. to do this? I would say in general, strength, flexibility, and cardiovascular fitness um, would be kind of, those are the three areas that I try to focus on for training. Um, but any background in swimming or dance is helpful. Musicality, being able to learn choreography quickly, mm. um, things like that are important. So, but but the question is, again, we're talking to Ellie and Gabriel of, Triangle Aquilinas, okay. He, uh, do you have to be a good swimmer to be a part of this, or to, what kind of skills that you need to have to be 
an artistic, artistic swimmer, if you will? I mean, we you, recommend you have to be you able, to, be able to swim water. and tread water yeah. before okay. you start. I would so, start so, with so like, somebody who wants to be a part of it. The, 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 first thing you got to swim. Yeah, the prerequisite is, is yeah. you got to be able to swim. You can't come in and try to learn how to swim and be part yeah. of this, right? You, but you can't be he, a ballerina and can't swim and, I mean, and be part of this. I mean, you can. I used to okay. teach little kids, and okay. they would just have to be able to swim like 50 yards before they could join. So got you, got you. Probably something like but that. But it sounds okay. like every swimmer is ne- not necessarily would do well. In artistic swimming, no, it's a bit different skill set, I would say, than regular mm-hmm. swimming. Now you know we want to do this, right? Now, yeah, I, I, yeah, I we, told you this. We I mean, heard you're I'm serious. To they are with us. <laughs> it's going on the rocket right now. I want because I like when you when the music is going, everybody's going the same way, and they, you know, I, I love that kind of stuff. So, because I'm a great dancer anyway. But and and, 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 <laughs> and, and, and everything and, ain't and, for and, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> We would absolutely hey, love hey, to have you hey, come to so practice. What, what are you trying to say, man? <laughs> I mean, you are a great dancer, but right. that's, where, that's what I was that's where le- right alluding there. to. Like, just because <laughs> you might be a great dancer, right. you may not be made to be an artistic swimmer. Just because you're a great swimmer might not make good you dancer. a good okay. dancer in All this right. category. But you can work but with me, right? But as you I, have great insurance. Yeah, well, go ahead, <laughs> one thing that you have, Mr. Reese, is confidence. Yeah. Oh. That, no, that, that helps. It, well, you got to worry about that. He got that. <laughs> that. That helps. Helps with the okay. with artistic swimming because uh, it's very performative sport. So okay. sometimes you have to keep your chin up and you have to smile to the judges. And he got all that. That that's one thing that we were going to touch on is that yeah. it helps yeah. build confidence. Oh, does it really? Yeah, mm. because you're 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 forcing mm. yourself to, you know, stay erect and smile and 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 show. And it's, <laughs> look at eight times about to die behind the glass. Yeah, <laughs> Alice, you, you go on because we can you, see you doing trying oh, oh, to do this. Oh, you know we do this. We are doing this. No, not me, we. It came back. Who be your? You see, K, me and K Mac. We we do stuff like that. Okay, well, yeah, I watch. And Pam, I'll report. <laughs> okay. I think but, artistic swimming can be for anyone. It's a very yeah. diverse, welcoming group. So oh, we wow. would love to have you come to practice. It, it's a good time. Yeah. Well, that's a great segue to my question: Is how can people um, yeah. get in touch with you? Where can they go online to find out more mm-hmm. information about artistic swimming? Probably the best place would be our Facebook page, which is Triangle Aqualina's Masters Artistic Swimming. Um, mm-hmm. We will post in there whenever we're starting back up for the new season in November. We'll be taking new beginner mm-hmm. swimmers to come. Um, we're thinking about hosting like a Tri Artistic Swimming Day, so that would be fun. Mm. Um, so our Facebook page would be the best place. Now, during the Olympics, I'm assuming you guys were kind of locked in on all the competitions, right? Of course. Uh, uh, so... The channel, I think channel. Who won over channel? See, I know, I know mm-hmm. my stuff. Channel, channel won, but, but the U.S. was right there. We got second. We got yep. second. Mm-hmm. We got a bronze. Mm-hmm. But um, was that like a expected? Or uh, town is typically that good in in this space? So there have been a lot of recent changes with okay. the sport, hence the name change from synchronized swimming to artistic Tell me about swimming. It, I don't know what that was. Yeah, and <laughs> during that, our sport has evolved a lot over the years. Okay. Um, but recently, they've kind of reworked the rules so mm-hmm. that difficulty is judged more fairly. So now every move has like a base difficulty score that's assigned to it. So they right. redid the whole judging system. Okay. So it was a little bit un unsure at first how that was going to play out with the scoring it was a little bit different than past years but our team's been working so hard we're so proud of team usa they did amazing oh man i yeah i was again i watched all of it and uh I'm, I was just amazed. Yeah, mm-hmm. Great athletes, you have to be because in in uh, in that space with the whole rhythm and the the, the, the breathing is 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 immaculate when when you're doing that that kind of kind of sport. I was just going to mention also yes. uh, about the men joining. Okay, uh, this is the first year where men are allowed to compete in the Olympics mm-hmm. uh, with with artistic swimming and. Um, there's a fame. There's a popular name in the sport, Bill May. Bill May. Yeah, okay. he's 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 kind of a a Michael Phelps of the sport. Oh wow. Yeah. And okay. He, he's out of Syracuse, New York. So he's he's uh, he's a well known name. And so in the sport, it's mm. it's dominated by women. But there is this. There are some men, specifically this gentleman, Bill May, who Who's are known like a pioneer for, yeah, right. for okay. being very yeah, popular. Right. So, right. And then there's going to be Earl Reese That's coming right. up I'll next. Be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, but, but Ellie, 
<laughs> oh, man. Come get, by. Hey, sure. I, I, I'm, I'm coming by now. I'm coming by. Yeah. He, no, no, he's a big Buffalo or Bills fan. Too, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Bills Mafia and stuff. So we can we can yep. talk about that too. So even though I don't like them, but you know, it's, but I had some good friends of mine that played there back in the past. But Ellie. Go and, Bills. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Gabriel, hey, thank you so much. Yes. I mean, I, um, I wanted to reach out and uh, we talked about it and um, we're going to do what we say we're going to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to get some diversity in terms of sports and things that we, we look at on the show and talk about so you guys have been unbelievable and we appreciate you guys coming on so tell people one more time how, how they can find you guys yeah thank you again so much for having us mm-hmm. we really appreciate the opportunity to share about our unique sport mm-hmm. um our facebook page triangle aqualinas is the best place to find us and we are accepting new club members beginners to advanced swimmers anywhere from age 18 plus mm-hmm. there are women who compete into their 80s and beyond so it's it's amazing and um we'd love to wow. see some of you guys wow. <laughs> not pan, too late for pan, me pan, not too late for you <laughs> <laughs> You said it before I said it. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, and if you're, a, you know, a dude out there and you mm. enjoy swimming and you have a, an artistic side and you want to come out and try the mm. team, then, you know, come stop by, message yeah. us on Facebook. Yeah. Awesome. What's the guy named Bill May? What's the guy named Bill? Yeah, Bill May. Yeah. Bill, Bill May, Earl Reese. I mean, those guys are pioneers. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> anyway, it's out. Wow. <laughs>